It's a goal set by the superintendent of the Guam Department of Education to have all public school students back at their home campuses by September 30th. But now two days past that deadline, the question remains, did GDOE make it? The short answer, not just yet, as inspections at Inarahan Middle School and Chief Brody Elementary are still inching toward completion. Yet during Tuesday's oversight hearing with lawmakers, Guam DOE Superintendent Dr. Kenneth Swanson remained confident, assuring they're close to the finish line. I would anticipate that those will take just one day, and then we should have the results within the week. Swanson also confirming Southern High School completed its sanitary inspections last Friday. Still, those results haven't been released. But there's talk of good news in the pipeline for the home of the Dolphins. Generally speaking, up until the, about the close of business, like if I were to get that information right now, we would activate for Thursday for the kids to go back to school because it takes the day to stand up transportation, right. food service, yeah. and all of those uh, logistical supports. Okay. Well, I, I just want to do that as soon as we get the word. And even when GDOE finishes the race, they're up for another lap as the reinspection cycle of schools already with sanitary permits continues. With Timuning Elementary School, Lyndon B. Johnson Elementary, Seal Titano Elementary, Aganya Heights Elementary, and Atacau Elementary Schools are slated for this month. We're starting into a cycle of monthly reinspection, so many of these are going to be ins inspected before the due date, so that we get onto a cycle of having two or three a month year-round.